welcome to another episode of your favorite libertarian. Today we're going to be turning this into this. Let's plan for success, shall we? Hey, speaking of plans, here are the plans for our project for today. Based off of two frames that will be butting up against each other, eight foot two by four fascia and backboard that will go into the studs. And then this one will also start as a eight foot long, eight foot long. When you go to the hardware store, you'll have it cut down to six foot on each, and then maybe need to cut it further if you decide to go with this design that omits this corner. And then as far as the other pieces of the frame, I have one, two, three, four, five for this one, 28 inch pieces. You'll have one, two, three, 28 inch pieces on this frame. And then if you decide to go this route so that you're not hitting your head on the way to the door from the garage to the house, then you'll also need a 34 inch long piece that's cut to a 45 degree angle. But something to note is that most hardware stores will do straight cuts, but they will not do angled cuts. So that's why you're going to need some of these tools here. But while you're at the hardware store, if you can get as many cuts as you can while you're there, that's great. They'll do all the straight cuts that you'll need, not only for uh, these two by fours, but also for plywood. So yay for that. So we've got our two frames. The supports are as follows. You'll have one, two, three, four, five, 43 inch, 45 degree angle cut supports. So in total, you have five 43 inch, 45 degree angle supports. You'll have two eight foot long, two by fours, two six foot long, two by fours, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 28 inch, two by fours, and a 34 inch two by four that's got a 45 degree angle cut. And that makes up your frame. The other th pieces of material that you'll need will be two four by eight foot pieces of plywood cut down to uh, rip to 31 inches wide, 31 inches wide. And then this one, you'll cut down to six foot on this side, around 55 and a half, 55 and a quarter, depending on a on a few variables on this back wall uh, will be this dimension, but if the wall's bowed out at all, it's gonna push this piece of plywood that way, and that's gonna change this dimension and possibly this dimension as well. But for us, in measuring, came out to 34 inches exactly on this side, and then pretty close to that number over here. So you'll have your plywood, those will be fastened to the top, and then Everything else will look as shown if everything goes well. <laughs> as far as materials, you'll have 10 eight foot long two by fours. You'll also need to pick up two four by eight half inch plywood boards. And this was a rough estimate, but based on my count, I tried to add a little bit to give you guys a cushion so you wouldn't have to go back to the hardware store and I would say 150 four inch wood screws would be sufficient for this project. So we get into the tools. Uh, you'll see some of the things we talked about needing for a 45 degree angle cut, such as a skill saw, circular saw, square, level, pencil, plumb, drill, impact driver, tape measure, sawzall, ladder, and hammer. Now the sawzall and the hammer were because we decided to change the design after we had put the second frame up, which is over here. So uh, we, we cut down this section here and then uh, there were some, because this frame uh, was fastened from the outside and then installed, 
we had to cut off uh, this, the ends of the screws over here with the sawzall, which is pretty cool. And there are a lot of sparks, so that was fun. So those are the tools you'll need. Those are the materials you'll need. And these are the plans that you will need for this project, provided that your wall has studs where we have studs and is 14 foot wide exactly. Now all we have to do is go to the hardware store, pick everything up, and build this. We're on our way to the hardware store. I'm very interested to see how this is gonna go. There's a few things that I don't know. One, I've never built one of these before. Secondly, I don't know how much it's gonna cost. <laughs> so we'll see what that shakes out to be. And thirdly, I don't know how long the pieces of uh, wood, specifically the two by fours are gonna be when I get there. So I'm gonna have to do some math when I get there. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I've measured the back of my wife's Jeep with the seats folded down. And as long as all the pieces of wood that I'm getting are at least six feet long or shorter, I should be good. I should be able to fit everything back here. That's the reason I did not take the Wrangler. One, the, is the cargo space in general isn't as good as this Jeep, but also I just recently, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out, just recently installed the Tuffy uh, security products deck enclosure, and I didn't want to have to uninstall that so you have more room. So here we are in a more luxurious Jeep, headed to the hardware store to get the wood that we need. Now, why am I building this out of wood, you might be asking. Why not just go buy one of those hanging metal shelf things from the hardware store or other big box stores and not have to do all, all this carpentry? Well, I'm glad you asked. The reason is the distance from the 90 degree angle corner of the wall and the back wall of the garage and the edge of the molding for the, the door that goes into the garage, uh, well, f from the garage to the house, is not exactly two of those shelves that you can buy, and it's not exactly one of those shelves that you can buy. So I have to have custom measurements, custom cuts, but I'm actually looking forward to this because I like projects, they're fun. I like working with my hands and I like creating things that didn't previously exist. Big shout out to my dad who is amazing at carpentry and lots of other things, especially when it comes to any type of engineering related activities. He, uh, I, I reached out to him and asked him because I was, I was trying to think of what the formula was for uh, the 45 degree angle cuts, how long those supports need to be. And from 1975, which was the last time he took trigonometry, he remembered the formula off the top of his head. So that is the amazing engineer brain that is my dad. Shout out to my dad. All right, we are here. I have done all the math I can. We're gonna find out how much everything costs, how many times I'm gonna have to cut everything based on how long the wood is. Should be fun. See you in a sec.
All right, we have wood. Oh my gosh, lots of wood. Pray with me that nothing falls out. Oh boy. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to hold this stuff for sure. About to get on the expressway, so. God, please let everything stay in the Jeep and not fall out. Amen. Here we go. So I was able to get all the wood I needed, which was good. I just was not able to get all the cuts I needed. They do not do 45 degree angle cuts. So my dad's coming over with a circular saw, maybe a table saw, and we're going to do the 45 degree angle cuts. And he's also going to help me uh, with some of the heavy lifting because once I frame this stuff, it's going to get kind of heavy. Well, I'm going to let you go because it's about to get really loud, but we'll meet back at the house. Here's some little tidbits. Whenever you mark a piece of wood, what you want to cut off, you do that. So that goes right in the space. Then you always put your pencil in your hat so you look cool. I don't have a hat. I can't be a carpenter. Put it behind your ear. Oh. It's okay. You're you're in the apprentice. My ear is so big that there's not enough space to clamp it together. It's like too much space, so it just falls out. Let's put it here for now. All right, I'm gonna hold these together at the end. We'll pick that end up. Put it in my pocket. Now I'm gonna make sure that those two ends are together. Yes. Okay. Are they, yes? Yes. Scoot towards me a little. Whoop, too much. Ready, Freddy? Turn it back now. All right, see the little marks that I made here? Yeah. They're from the ones that we marked that match up with the screws. Yeah. What I want you to do is take this all the way down to the end and see if we're lining up. So on the tape measure, every time you see a number in a square, that's 16 on center. Okay. So here's one stud 16. 32 is the next one, and guess what? It's right there. Okay. The next one is 48. We're skipping that. The next one is five. Whoop, the next one's 64. We're a little bit off. And then we're going to have the end piece. Just like this one. We'll have your end. And we'll end up my end. And this is what we're going to start with. Now, the key is whatever side that we're going to have the um, Whatever side you're going to have the plywood on, uh -huh. let's say it's going to be this side, you want this to be flat. So if you look, sometimes one side is going to be flat, one side isn't. Look underneath, make sure I'm laying up with my lines. No other tier, look up. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, that's. 
Here, three across here, four for the end. What are you guys doing? One more, yeah. So, what we're cutting are more of these. So, there's these parts of the inner part of the frame. Yeah. We're cutting those so we can make another one of these for over here. Because we're going to have to go all the way to that door. So, you know, you ever heard the expression? Take the line, save the line. Cheat the line, you ever heard that? No. Look, when you're cutting, can you see a little bit of black right there? Yep. So that's saving the line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, if I had gone, made a mark, and I went right in the middle of it, then you cut everything right in the middle of it. But you're taking an eighth of an inch 
a sixteenth of an inch of the saw blade. The saw blade is an eighth of an inch wide. So if you take a sixteenth away, you're screwing your dimension. Okay. So you always go to the. I don't know if we're going to or not. I don't think we have to because I brought this big anyway. Yeah. So these are all we need for for our frame for this. Yes. All right. So we can put these here. And I said 43, so bring us another 2 by 4 Now, that was save the line. That was take the line, and then make it fat, as you'd see the entire line. Okay. The whole pencil line. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go outside so the dimension stays true. No. So I'm thinking. Do that one first. Let's make that a little. Yeah, it seems. See? Yeah. So, trim a little bit of this. Yeah. Or. bit so that you don't split the wood. Now, one of those screws. No. Bury it. Go all the way up there. All the way up there. So if you're, you're going to get all the way up there, you see where they're going. I think I might have us. Yeah. What, what angle do you have? Oh, you'll find out. Okay. Try to do it more like, like this. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. But like yeah, this there is you go. almost straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. And this is gonna get here. So you're gonna yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Very good.
Greek. Just wait till we're done. Then we'll do that. Right, ready? Ready. Inside your head, they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb and I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I will get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless So this is going to go up against the wall because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a hand cut and that's a nice finish cut. Yeah. So if you want this to be the part you see from underneath, you got to flip it. Yeah, because it has the, a bunch more lettering on this side. Yeah, thank you. Okay, it up, put it in that corner. All right. Um, yep. This is the front. This is the front? Yep. Okay. This is the cut. So take your end up, put it up in the corner. There we go. Pop, pop, pop.
Well, another job well done. It's been a long time since my son and I collaborated together on a project, but it turned out very well. We worked very well together. Uh, this is going to be something that's going to last forever. The whole house will fall down, but that shelf will still be there. I want to thank my dad for helping me not only in uh, all the all the uh, engineering wizardry, but in helping me physically with all the cuts and the grilling and uh, all the line lessons that I learned. And I'm really excited to put all the junk that's in the <laughs> in the garage up here, so I can park the Jeep in here for the winter, so that the soft top's not out in the cold. So. Big thanks again to my dad. If you like this video, if you want to see more cool projects like this, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. And as always, stay free. God bless.